and I'm scared of being in the air for over 13 hours. And Afro -G -G I'm not Oprah, okay? I'm regular. Besties, before we get started with today's video, we do have a sponsor. A huge shout out to Fume for sponsoring today's video. Now, I really think my besties who want to begin this journey, this is for y'all. I already know going cold turkey is something that is super hard. Cold turkey really only belongs on a sandwich, but there is an even better way to break your bad habits. And we're not talking about some like weird voodoo that your neighbors do, that your crazy uncle does. We are talking about fume. They look at the problem in a different way. So y'all, not everything in a bad habit is wrong. So we're not talking about a drastic, uncomfortable change. So we're just gonna remove the word bad from your habit. Don't you wanna do that? So fume is an innovative, award-winning device that will do just that. So instead of electronics, fume is natural. And instead of vapors, fume uses flavored air. And instead of harmful chemicals, fume uses all natural, delicious flavors. So y'all, you get it. Instead of the bad, fume uses the good. So it's definitely a habit that you're free to enjoy and it makes replacing your bad habit that much more easy. So this is the way your fume looks. It comes with an adjustable airflow dial and it's designed with movable parts, magnets for fidgeting, just giving your fingers a lot to do while you're trying to de-stress. So it's definitely really flavorful. It makes your mouth feel fresh. The wood is beautiful and smooth on here and it's extremely fun to fidget with. So if stopping is something that you've been putting off because we all know it's hard. We've heard the horror stories. Switching to fume will make it fun, enjoyable and so much more easy. Fume has served over 100,000 customers and there are thousands and thousands of success stories. So there's no reason why you cannot be one of them. So if you guys are in this situation and you are ready to make a change, you can go to tryfume.com slash Gina J or scan the QR code that's right here on the screen. And then at checkout, you put in my code Gina J and you will receive 10% off at checkout on the journey pack. All the information will be down below in the description box as well. Don't forget to click the link, put in my code, and get 10% off your order today. Good morning, happy Friday. Welcome to the weekend vlog. I'm about to make myself a smoothie for breakfast. I haven't made a homemade smoothie in forever. Just realizing I don't have strawberries. Oh my God. Oh, y'all too far away. How's everybody's day going? Once again, I did not vlog during the week. I ain't do nothing. Oh, oh, but what I, I be forgetting I gotta catch you guys up on stuff when I don't vlog during the week and I just pop up on a weekend vlog. I got approved for my house. I got approved for two houses, actually. My top two houses, I got approved for them. So on like Tuesday or Wednesday during the week, I, me and Tina linked up. We went back to both of the houses so I could decide like which one I wanted since I got approved for both is now at the ballers in my court. So I picked a house. I kind of went against the grain of what Tina told me I should have picked because one of the houses did have a swimming pool in the back and she was like, oh, a pool, that would be so nice to have barbecues and this and that and da, da, da. But that was really the main focal point of that house. The other house was actually my number one choice. The house with the swimming pool was my number two choice. So... When I went back and just factored everything in, the way the layout was, the way the house looked, the space that the kids had upstairs, the closet space that the kids were getting upstairs, um, the neighbor, everything just went with the first house, which was my first choice. So I signed on the dotted line. 
I'm so excited. So we will be moving very, 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 very soon. Mm. And of course, you guys will be along with me for that journey, for everything. So ah, it's just exciting. It's exciting that I'm about to be in a house that I just love aesthetically. I love everything about it. Like, yes. So very exciting, very exciting. Let me make my smoothie and think about other stuff I got to catch you guys up on. Like I said, so much goes on during the week, but it's nothing that it's like, do I really even want to film this? Y'all been looking at houses with me. Did y'all want to actually go back and compare the two with me that I was wearing my options with and then just mom stuff, you know? Anyways, we'll be back. strawberries or mango just two different fruits but i mean it's good it's banana ice spinach vanilla protein almond milk and chia seeds so so guys it is tanya's birthday today so she does have a whole weekend planned out we have dinner tonight we're going out after dinner tomorrow we don't have any plans oh y'all ethan signed to a new basketball team i just so much maybe i I have not vlogged during the week. The last time that I talked to y'all was last Friday. So, like I said, my travel vlogs don't really, those don't really count. I'm talking about just my regular, average, everyday, day-to-life, day-to-day life. But anyway, yeah, Ethan signed with a new team. So, yeah, I have added on more to my plate. It's completely fine. You know, I wanted him to be back on a team that's the boys' version of Ashen's team. I can just take them to the same practice, the same soon. But it's all right. It's okay. That's what us moms, you know, parents, we sign up for this type of shit. So I can't complain about it because I said yes. So he has his first game tomorrow. Ashton has plans with her friends tomorrow. And I'm a designated driver. And mm, oh, that's the wrong term. Designated driver. That's what people get drunk. She's 10. Um, so yeah. I am driving her somewhere and staying close by it's gonna be an adult with her friends but i gotta stay close by because y'all know how i am i'm like the hawk parent i i can't be too far off the radar okay so i might miss his first game unfortunately just because ashton made these plans with me before ethan signed on to his new team but anyway um yeah so that's another update then tanya's doing something sunday for her birthday so that's what, that's what I was saying. My mind just be going 100 miles an hour, y'all. Friday, which is today, we're doing something. And Sunday, we're doing something for Tanya's birthday. So you will see the gang later. I'm back with another wig on. This red wig, it just speaks to my heart every time I wear it. I just love it so much. It's just hard to find outfits that go with this. Because, I mean, clearly you can't wear a pink outfit with this. I mean, I, you probably could, but I don't know. I'm like, I, I tell you, I'm not the fashion girl, so I don't, I'm, I'm going to stick to like a white or a black, something simple, but it definitely gave a look when I was in Vegas wearing it with those pops of green, something about just red and green are so cute together. And I started doing my, um, wig caps different. <sighs> I think I showed you guys in a video maybe like a month or two ago on this side I'm starting to get a little bit of thinness like in this area here and I think it's because y'all when I put my wig caps on I don't bring them down cut them I literally just put them on my head sit them there and then I usually use this wig band so this wig band is sitting right there also so I just think the tension of the banding on the wig cap and then 
the wig band rubbing here constantly has worn that area down. So for the past, I want to say maybe week when I've been putting my own wig on and off, I am actually doing what my hairstylist does, which is bring it down, spray it with the, um, I've been using this. I love this stuff. I'll link it down below. I think I showed you guys this in a past blog. Yeah, I like that stuff. So I bring it down. Y'all already know. And then to where it's not even touching my hair at all. It's way above my hairline. And then I'm not using the wig band anymore. So I've actually noticed a slight difference in the past like week or two of the hair like um, grown back. So yeah. Other than that, y'all know how I put my wigs on. Super basic. Oh, I did want to bring something up to y'all. And I hate addressing stuff sometimes. <laughs> Especially when it's not the general consensus of you guys in the comment section. Uh, my video that I put out, my Bahamas video, I had like a very small handful of people try to check me for my title. And when I say a small handful of people, guys, literally, it was maybe out of the hundreds and hundreds of comments, I ran across like three comments. But they did, they struck a nerve with me because I'm one of those people, if somebody, if y'all, I read y'all's comments. Like I said, I can't reply to every single comment. And I don't see every single comment, but I try to do my best. I definitely, I read my comments. So when y'all try to correct me on something, I'm like, hmm, should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I? Just like when y'all said, don't open the packages on my bed. I don't open them on my bed no more. I open them in my kitchen. So I do listen to you guys. I do, I do. So um, like I said, those three comments, um, one of them really struck a, a, a chord with me just because of the person's name. And I'm sure they're watching this right now. So hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Their name was Positive Vibes Only. And they came with a super negative comment. And y'all know we could check past comments on that y'all write. We can check the past comments. So I went to see like, were they always writing negative shit on my page? Or was it just this video got under their skin? And it was, it was just this video because every other comment that the person wrote in the past was a super positive comment, but then you come with something nasty. Anyway, that's what that's what struck the nerve because I'm like, really? Positive vibes only? Hi girl or guy or whoever. Um, the comment isn't there anymore because I pinned the comment because I wanted to see what everybody else had to say. I pinned the comment and I just let the comment section do its thing. I did respond back. So what the comment said was basically your hotel is not considered luxury. No hotels you ever stay at are luxury. You need to step your travel game up with like a laughing emoji. So what I have to say about that, and it's the same thing I told them in the, uh, in the comment section. Anything that I pay for to sleep at outside of these four walls here, baby, is luxury. Outside of these bills here in this here house, that is my luxury, okay? What I consider luxury may not be luxury to you. But me going to Margaritaville and staying over there in the Bahamas, baby, that was luxury to me, okay? Now, you might compare it to, let's say, the Waldorf Astoria, which I have stayed at before. You might compare it to, let's say, the Post Oak. I haven't stayed there before, but that's on my list to stay. You, I don't know what other, other hotels that in some people's eyes is luxury, but baby, when I travel, I don't care if it's a three, four, five star hotel, that is luxury to me. Where we stayed at Margaritaville, and I said this in the video, we didn't stay at the Margaritaville, the regular resort. We stayed next door in their premier building, okay? The building was called, it had a, it had a different name to it. It was called, oh shit, here I go, I need to Google now. Oh. Here it is. It was called One Particular Harbor. So that's their exclusive building to where you have to have a special wristband to be in that building. 
People who stay in that building have access to a private adult only infinity pool, they have access to a private beach, they have access to private pools. That is like their upper tier building. We paid $5,000, over $5,000 to be in there, okay? Not that luxury has a price tag on it because it absolutely does not. Luxury is what you make it, what you think it is. Um, so even though me staying in the one particular building of Margaritaville that we paid over $5,000 for and me waking up every morning to an ocean view, <laughs> you know, me waking up to even being able to afford to be there it, that might not be luxury to some people, but to me, that is luxury. The fact that I'm able to travel the way that I am is luxury to me. So luxury is what you make it, guys. Don't let anybody ever tell you that's not luxury. That's not luxury. If it's not luxury to you, fine. In your world, that might not be luxury. But baby, to me, like I said, anything outside of these four here walls, if I stay down at the Hyatt, down the street, that's luxury, okay? <laughs> Shoot. So I'm just saying all that to say, don't ever let anybody come in and downplay <laughs> what you have in your mind as something that's luxury, self-care, something that you've been wanting to do, something that you've been saving up your money to do. Don't let anybody come in here and downplay it. Just like these bracelets that I have, these Cartier bracelets, to me, this was a luxury purchase. To somebody like, let's say Kylie Jenner, she might look at these damn bangle bracelets and these might be her kids' chew toys, okay? For me, going to Louis Vuitton and buying a bag, that's luxury to me. That's luxury to be able to afford to go buy a Louis Vuitton bag. To somebody like a Kardashian, that might be her kids' play clothes. That might be, she might go to Louis Vuitton to buy a Halloween costume, you know? Luxury is what we think it is. The times that I've been able to fly first class, to me, that's luxury. That's luxury flying for me. Flying, period, is luxury. Point blank, period. <laughs> but to somebody who flies private, when I fly first class, I might be a peasant to them because, ew, she's on a, on a commercial airplane, yuck. Me taking my kids to eat at a restaurant, at Chili's, at Saltgrass Steakhouse, where I don't have to cook and dirty up dishes. That is a luxury, okay? Me being able to put my kids in extracurricular activities, even though I just complained about it in the clip of photos. Baby, that is a luxury. <sighs> like, I just, I don't, I just don't see the, what you, what, I'm not Oprah, okay? I'm regular. I ain't Oprah. L let's get that off, let's get that off the table first. Shoot. I've stayed in five-star hotels many a times before. You guys have seen them. I brought you guys along with me. But a four-star hotel will have just as much luxury because luxury is really what they have to offer. They have a gym in there. My home don't have a gym. So me going to sleep somewhere that has a gym in there, that's luxury. My home don't have a swimming pool. So me growing somewhere where that has a swimming pool, <laughs> that's luxury. Me waking up to looking at a beach and I don't look, I see a beach out these windows right here. I see a, some ugly fences. That's luxury to me. So I don't want to just harp on this so long, but I'm just saying because I've had people in my comment section also throughout my years of traveling saying Vegas is not a vacation. Miami is not a vacation. Only if you go out the country is it a vacation. <laughs> well, excuse the hell out of me. I, I am a regular person. I have to work for my money like the next man. You know, and this was said while I was working my nine to five. So you mean to tell me, me having to schedule off work, save up for my flight to Miami, save up to buy outfits, to have spending money and you mean to tell me that I can't call that a vacation? The regular average working person cannot call their trip that they've been saving up for for almost a year to go to Miami. They can't call that a trip, a vacation. The passport has to be stamped before it can be considered a vacation. It's madness, it's crazy, it's crazy.
And the people that do come in the comment section and say stuff like that, I just be wondering, like, when was the time, when was the last time you actually booked a flight and went somewhere outside of your city? Like, I just be wanting to know because the way I travel is judged so much. But anyway, we move. I am going to continue to call my places that I stay at luxury because to me, they are. They have amenities that my own house doesn't have. So baby, guess what? That's a luxury. And I just remember how different life for me was just five, six years ago. Life for me was so much more different. So with me wanting to classify certain stuff as luxury, honey, I'm going to do that. So if you're mad about it, there are plenty of other YouTubers that you can watch. There's plenty of other travel vloggers that you can watch. But you don't have to watch me. Okay. That's all I'm saying. I ain't blocking nobody. If you wanna, if you wanna continue to watch me, baby, you can. Cause you ain't gonna get blocked. The people that hate on you the hardest be the main ones watching. They be right front row with their popcorn. So, on that note, I'll see you on the next one. Okay, to the Positive vibes only. All 2023. Y'all, let me show you what I got out the store yesterday. I might be late to the party if these are already something viral on TikTok. Y'all know I only watch TikTok for travel stuff. So anyway, y'all know that um, those shots that I had, let me raise y'all up. Those shots that I had that I love so much, they're by this brand called Old Smoky Moonshine. I showed them first to y'all when I was in um, Honduras. And I told you guys how amazing they taste. So I went in specs yesterday. I was like, do you have like the big thing of that? Which they did. Let me go ahead and show you guys. They do. So I bought this one right here. It's butter pecan. And then of course I bought some, this is right next to it. So I had to buy it. Some rum shata. Oh, so good. <laughs> Cheers, bitches. But anyways, what I was saying was they have cherries mangoes and peaches so i got these the guy was we were just like laughing and joking i was like oh i'm gonna have to have my best friend come over and we're gonna try these together he was like you know what you do he said make like a fruit cocktail like a fruit bowl for you a fruit bowl for her and put these in there and then she doesn't know what she's eating and then she's gonna be drunk and then y'all are really gonna have fun i'm like no, that sounds like some shit off of a movie, but <laughs> I'm not gonna get my friend drunk without her knowing. But anyway, yeah, I wanna try these with uh, with Jennifer. We are about to go to the mall. I have to get Tanya a birthday gift. So I think I know what I'm going to get her. I think, y'all know I'm a gift card queen. I love buying gift cards for my friends because I'm one of those, I wanna do my own shopping. And I feel like you'd want to do your own shopping as well. Y'all, it was April's birthday last month. I got her all them gift cards. Guess what? Guess what? Why one of them don't work? I need to text her to tell her to bring, bring that card to dinner tonight. Because <laughs> I still had a receipt. Y'all know I save all my receipts. I'm going to down this real quick. Because I'd be damned if I'm drinking this in a bumpy car and it gets all over my white t-shirt. One thing you can't drink fast is a milkshake. It's the consistency make you gag. This is so cute. This was in my basket on Saturday. Y'all know I love me a good vacation piece. These are cute. Puzzle bag. This is a pretty color pink. Okay, Grinch details okay we're in Zara the place that I love to window shop these are so cute anything denim yes my denim shoes cost $12 so these are gonna stay here these are cute though it's giving um, YSL tribute sandal. 
Okay, little kitten, little boo boo kitty. Look how cute these are. They got the feathers, they got the pointed toe, they got the little boo boo kitty heel. But baby, why? 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 Oh my god. Now these are the ultimate vacation sandal. I am in love. I don't like the price because I have similar for cheaper, but oh my god. These are everything. Everything. So chic. Oh my goodness. I don't need another denim jacket to save my life, but girl, this is cute. Look at the two tone. Oh. Look at that. It's giving Margiela. It's giving Loewe. Both of those brands have done this two tone type thing and where it looks like another pair of pants, like right here. You see that? Oh, this is cute. It's coming home with me. And y'all, this is a size small. Ain't nothing on me small but my ears, okay? These are so cute, but I don't like the length. Like, oh, and I don't think I'd want to wear these with sandals. It has a matching top, of course. If you guys didn't know, this is the Duke to Baccarat. It literally smells exactly like it. Got done shopping at Louis Vuitton. I met Carlos. He was the perfect essay. Because if y'all are in Houston Galleria and you are interested in some Louis Vuitton items, y'all come see Carlos. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I got Tanya's gift. Anyways, let me hurry up and rush because I got to go pick up Ashton. I'm back home. Looking like ain't your mama. Because I ain't your mama. But anyway, uh, just ate me a little meal prep. It's my little appetizer before I go to dinner tonight. And y'all, we about to open some packages. Because I got packages on packages on packages. Okay? I don't know why I be trying to put it over there. The lighting don't be looking right. Let me see if it look better over here. Y'all, our phones, the AI in our phones is crazy. I was looking at this girl's skirt on her page. I took a screenshot of it because I looked through the comments. She didn't tag it. Everybody's asking, where's the skirt from? Where's the skirt from? Where's the skirt from? And I'm like, I'm going to find this skirt. Took a screenshot of it, put it in my phone. I kid you not. I kid you not, y'all. 15 minutes later. Why did the exact same skirt and the exact same color pop up as a shopping thing on Instagram? Yeah. Anyway, so this is Shamika's. I'm quite sure hers is probably some. She's like a she's like an Instagram celebrity. She's she's like a she's she's known. So hers probably isn't from here. Hers is probably expensive. It's kind of do rag material. It's 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 cheapy cheap, but this is a top, and then I got this skirt to go with it. It's a maxi skirt. Color shoot, you get the vibe. Damn, well it's cut off in my um on my email. Anyways, that's the skirt, and it has the bandeau top to it. Okay, now this is the skirt that I was. So interested in. Let's see. It looked amazing on her. But of course, she was about 60 pounds smaller than me or more. It's just a uh, maxi midi skirt that had these really cute thick ties. So, this is what it looks like on the website. And then I also got it in black, and it's literally the same thing. And of course, there's no invoice in the bag. Next, got something from Amazon. What's a haul if you don't have something from Amazon? I was telling Jennifer I needed a gold bag. Y'all know I just got a gold bag from Shein, but that's like a bright, bright, like 24 karat gold tone. I wanted a more toned down gold. A more toned down gold just gives more chic, I think. 
So anyways, I saw this on Amazon because of course our phones listen to us. <laughs> why, why, why would I get on Amazon? Why was a gold purse just sh sitting there? Why? Why? Anyway, so this is what the purse looks like. I believe it's a dupe for Bottega. I could be wrong, but I think it is. I think it's a Bottega dupe. So it did come in like eight or nine different colors. And I believe this was, hold up. Amazon gonna do me right. They gonna have my price pop right up on the screen. This was $35.99. I will probably take the strap off. Cause I mean, who gonna wear this over their shoulder? Granny, grandma going to church? No, we're not wearing this over the shoulder. And crossbody? No. Then did some shopping on Target. This outfit is 100% influenced by Chelsea Janae. Hey, boo. She went to Target. She tried this outfit on. She's a tall stallion like me, and it came all the way to her ankles. So I am going to keep my fingers crossed that it's going to come all the way down to my ankles too. So this is just like a loungy, beachy set. So it's some wide leg pants. I got them in a 2X. Target stuff don't be stretching. Yeah. So I got a 2X in these. I'll probably have to get them tailored at the waist. Let me just show you the picture. Because I, I'm like I said, I'm not trying this stuff on. So it's just best if I show you the picture on the model. So she's wearing it with the um bikini. And here it is with the pants. This was so cute. This model is wearing the bikini, the pants, the kimono, the head scarf. She's wearing it all. Isn't that cute? And each piece was only $35. I tried on something similar to this in Zara today. And each piece, the bottoms, I think, were 50 and the top was 70. Or the top was 50 and the bottoms were 70. All right, next we have two orders from Lueve. Lueve is a brand I just started buying from about a year ago. I have Lueve sunglasses. I have Lueve, I have two Lueve tops. Um, yeah. So I'm just adding more. Lueve is under, this is how it's spelled. I know a lot of people think it's like pronounced low, but it's Lueve. And a tip, if you guys do like Lueve, because they have some really like funky stuff, like really like fun shoes and stuff. I can't wear them because y'all know how my feet are. But uh, if you order from their website, they don't charge, ta it's free shipping and no tax. And it's cheaper than Saks. At least some items are. Let me say that. So I got this. Got this tank top. Ooh. I don't like the quality of this. Hmm. I do not like the way this feels. <laughs> this feels like an old navy tank top. But anyway, uh, here it is, Loewe tank top. I got a size large. I don't think I like this. I had ordered a Loewe scarf that was labeled as silk and I returned it because I was like, this is not a silk scarf. This is a regular scarf that you see at the damn rodeo, like bandana rather. A bandana that you see at the rodeo tied around the little guy's neck trying to run and, and, and hog tie the pigs. Yeah, I returned it and got my, what, $350 back. Now this, I don't know. I, I'm going to have to ponder on this. It's, that's a lot of money for a basic feeling cotton. We need some... I, I... Yeah, my other little way stuff is good quality. I don't know. Okay. One more item from them. It's the big... Big box, so you buy, can probably guess what's in here. Okay. Okay, nice dust bag. Basket bag. That's cute for the summertime, look. Okay, all right, we 
like it? Oh, yeah, let me ponder on that tank top because, baby, what? I think my Old Navy one that I found for 10 cents in my last blog feels better than that one. And I, it just, it is what it is. I, I, I'll give you guys the real. I'll let you guys know sometimes buying designer is not worth it because they don't put the quality and craftsmanship in. I could say a company, Saint Laurent, pretty much across the board has been a very good quality company. They don't have crazy price increases like Chanel. Saint Laurent, if you guys, because a lot of you guys actually asked me, Gina, what's a good like brand to start off with? I've never bought any designer items. What's something that I can start off with? Saint Laurent, they are near and dear to my heart, even though the bag that I carry every day, the it's chipping a little bit. That's literally the only problem I've really had with Saint Laurent. I did have a rude manager before. We're not getting into that. But uh and Louis Vuitton, those two. The quality is really, really good. Chanel is good, but we're not going to talk about Chanel. Chanel is just astronomically high, so that's like we're not going to discuss them. Um, like I said, I have two other Loewe shirts. Great quality. Why is this one? What? Terrible. That's awful. We're gonna place the new Loewe next to the Poochie, the Poochie that I don't wear because it is so not practical. It's a stiff bag that is massive and you can't travel with it because it's so big. You gotta fold it up. And then the wicker starts tearing when you fold it in half in your luggage. So yeah, that's a no. They have a smaller version. I do recommend this big version. Absolutely not. It's here for decoration at this point. I'm back. This is tonight's face, just what I always do. But this time I did white eyeliner at the bottom. Same wig, just got all my jewelry on. These are those legging pants from that black owned company called Miss Fashion Sense. I will have it down below as well. Y'all support, 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 very long. They are touching the ground. I have my little heels on and they're touching the ground. So tall girls. This for us. And then I'm wearing my little red bag. I was gonna do my pink Chanel bag, but I'm like, this goes better with my hair. This is how the full outfit looks. Let's go. So I'm here, y'all. I've been here for about 15 minutes. It's raining. It's raining. It's been, do y'all hear that thunder? The sky been lighting up like fireworks with the lightning. I, for one, I'm not a pro walker in heels. Y'all already know I got a fucked up ankle and I got flat feet. So walking in heels on a regular dry day is a struggle. It's raining and I gotta go far. And I brought two pair of heels. It is, I wish I brought some flat sandals just to walk inside the restaurant and then wear my heels to when we get to the lounge, club, whatever we're going to after. Thank God I have an umbrella because this hair, it's probably gonna turn my white shirt orange. Y'all pray for me. I'm about to make a run for it. Just made it to the report. It's the girl's table. <laughs> Jennifer's on her way, but y'all look. The birthday girl broke her phone. She called somebody to come to the restaurant at 10 o'clock at night to fix her phone. Think I'm lying? Look. This man said he getting his money at 10 p.m. on a Friday night. I got a blueberry martini. It has a lot of blueberries. So, and then she coming home in June. So she'll get the week. I literally just read it, but I forgot. And then three weeks from there. So basically. The bestie made it. Looking cute. Oh, what's, oh, that's my appetizer. Mm. Aphrodisiac. You gotta say aphrodisiac. <laughs> 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 Why 
Yeah. So these are the spinach Madeline charred oysters. You should tell them charred hard. Charred hard? Yeah, because they'll be slimy. They don't look too hard? They don't look hard enough? No. They gonna slide right under your thumbs. <laughs> they smell amazing though. They should didn't skip on the bacon, did you? They sure didn't. It's full of that swine. <laughs> you look gorgeous. I, you put the bag in front of really. your shit. So that's it, but that's still only <laughs> like, Drink number two. If we're counting the drinks that we've had here, if we're counting the drinks we had at home, this is like drink number four. Mm. To you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh, they just can't turn the lights off. I was trying to show y'all the outside part. Oh well. The rain has stopped. The ladies are walking to the next spot. Y'all did not close out last night. The weather just put a damper on everything. After dinner, we went home. <laughs> so that's why I didn't pick y'all back up. I didn't do no more vlogging. The restaurant was really good. The food was good. That's a place I think I've only eaten dinner there one other time many year, years ago, but I have eaten brunch there a few times. They have really, really good brunch. They, well, they, let me say they used to, I don't know if they still do, but they used to do a magnificent brunch buffet back in the day. Well, I'm headed to pick up Ashton from her dad's house. Ethan is there too, but he's staying there with his dad. Um, has games this afternoon. Ashton, we're gonna go home, wash her hair, and she's meeting up with her friends. I'm gonna see if they got everything together. Y'all know how kids make plans and they don't, half the parents don't know. They wrong on times, location, so we're gonna see. Time for these braids hey, to go. I can, I can get Y'all seen, y'all seen? I don't know if I showed y'all her braids. She had the little heart going on. They still look good, actually. For her, for her hair texture, sorry. For her hair texture, for these to have lasted a week is like crazy. I would have to do long cornrows. I got cornrows. Mm-hmm. Just start anywhere. I'm about to make my coffee, and then I'm going to come help. Okay. See how easy they're coming out? Look. This one halfway done already. I'm gonna do it. It's getting stuck. It, sorry, it got stuck underneath my, my okay. fake nail. Sorry. It's okay. Sorry, I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> if y'all wear fake nails, then y'all know how hair gets stuck underneath the nail, so. Yeah, this is breakfast. Y'all know I like Jimmy Dean egg white bites. I know I can make these. I can make these on my own. <laughs> but these two are meat lovers, egg white bites, then some fruit. And then I got some new um, Starbucks cold brew coffee. It's so good. Cinnamon Dolce. Wait, hold on. Caramel Dolce. It's, oh, it's so good. When I go back to TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I think I'm gonna stock up. Ashton's already halfway done. Just, I've only been off camera for less than 10 minutes. <laughs> and she's like halfway done taking her hair down. Okay, y'all, so I was reading 
A lot of you guys comments when I was talking about my son's birthday gift, how he wants a trip to Japan. And I was just like at a dilemma crossroad, like, oh, that's my baby. I don't want him to be that far. But he a grown ass man and should I go with him? But that flight is long and I'm scared of being in the air for over 13 hours. And anyway, a lot of you guys said, Gina, go with him. Go with him, go with him, go with him. This is his birthday trip, so I'm not gonna insert myself. I'm going to ask him. So I'm about to call him right now and see what he says. Hello. Hey, sweetie. Hey, Mom. What you up to? Nothing. Uh, what's up with you? Folding laundry. Oh, that sounds fun. <laughs> it's 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 not. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, the reason why I'm calling you, I know you said you wanted a, chip, a trip to Japan for your birthday. Do you want me to come with you? You want to come with me to Japan? Do you want me to come with you? Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, if you want to come, that'd be nice, yeah. I just, I don't know. I feel weird about you going completely alone. Would you want me there? I mean, that's the thing. You're 25. It's, your, it's your, for your 25th birthday. Would you want me to come with you? I'm not just going to say, oh, I'm going with you. You know, this is your trip, your gift. Uh, um, I mean, honestly, if you want to come, that's totally fine. I mean, I was when I was going up there, I wasn't going to go to, like, anywhere crazy you know because you know i like anime and stuff so i'm just gonna visit a bunch of anime places visit some shrines see the scenery go to mm. a couple of gardens like i was gonna actually explore the country i was gonna like you know crazy reckless stuff like i was gonna do like do some kind of touristy stuff you know what i mean i know you're not a partier i know i know you aren't gonna be out drinking and partying and doing i, I know you're not you're you want to see the architecture the actual culture of Japan. Yeah. 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 So, um, I mean, if you want to, if you want to come me, I would, you know, that I'd be more than willing to accommodate you. That'd be fine. You know, I'm always more the merrier. If you want to come, that's totally fine. I mean, you know, through maybe the 13th or 14th, maybe the 13th. Oh, the 7th? Yeah. Oh, so you're trying to go after your birthday yeah a couple of days after because i'm gonna have dinner with you know you dad the kids some siblings you know i'm gonna have dinner with y'all with stuff like what that. about what about going like if i was to go with you because you know the kids start back school on the 9th oh really august not yet it's early this year um you know school usually starts around like the 16th 17th 18th of august yeah it starts on the 9th when, when do they start summer uh, summer starts on May, May 25th, 26th, somewhere around there. Oh, they don't even get an early summer start. So, so they have a little, right, they do. They have an earlier summer start and then, a, and then they start school earlier. Yeah. If I was to go with you, I would need to do something like August 1st through the 7th or like July 31st through August 6th or 7th. I would need to be back home like two days before school starts at least. I don't know if that would even work for you. I know you already have this all. Unfortunately, just because when school starts, you know, it's, I mean, yeah, I, school starts for the kids. I just got to, I got to be here. Yeah, no, I get you. Um, All right, sweetie. I love you. All right, love you too, mom. Have a good day. You as well. Bye. Bye. So all that just to not be able to do the dates. Dang it. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to work out with his. Uh, yeah, with the kids starting back school, he already had a date, a week set in his mind. And then he was saying he might even have to push it back later in August. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I got to figure I got to figure it out with school starting back. That's, that's, that throws a monkey wrench in everything, so. Okay, all this is today's outfit. This is just a little sweater from a, a sponsorship, Jerley She, Black Skims, Chanel sneakers,
red Chanel bag. My little Fendi shades that I got on like a crazy discounted deal. My Chanel earrings that I literally never wear. <laughs> but I was like, mm, let me do a little something simple today since I'm doing the Chanel on Chanel. So yeah, that's the look, y'all. It's like 68 degrees outside. I was just on the phone with my dad. He was saying, oh, it's like nice summer weather in Chicago. He was like, it's 64 degrees. And I'm like, it's 69 here and windy and we need sweaters. This is considered cold for us. <laughs> I'm just saying. Y'all, it's, uh, it's lunchtime. I went to Whole Foods, I think yesterday and got some food to go, some overpriced food. But I'm about to heat it up and eat it in the car. So it's just some um, uh -oh. roasted chicken and then a bunch of roasted vegetables. These are like thick cut zucchini here. Then these were like grilled with like onions and peppers, but it's still zucchini. So, yep. No carbs. Zero. Let me not say zero. Everything has, I mean, it's it probably has maybe two or three carbs in it. You know, it's not like a regular meal that has like rice and potato and all that. Hey y'all, I'm home. I didn't film at all going to the mall. I told you guys Ashton had a get together with her friends at the mall. Not a get together, what's it called when you meet up with your friends at the mall? A meet up. So <laughs> it was like five of them. And of course y'all already know how I am. I stayed at the mall the entire time. So I was inside the mall for like two hours. And then I was sitting in my car in the parking lot of the mall for about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. So anyways, while I was in the mall, the girl did some shopping. I bought a bunch of stuff I didn't need. This is me wasting time and spent a few hundred dollars. Then I get in my car and I'm bored. I get on Shein and then spend another hundred dollars. Anyway, let's go through the stuff that I got. If it's online, I will link it down below if you guys care. I got another vacation hat. You guys know I love hats on vacation. Hats and scarves are my jam. So this is, this was $18. This is a lot, this is a lot of money for this. A lot, but it's green. And I'm like, I never seen a green straw hat. So I'm like, had to get it. This jacket, and I know it's almost 90 degrees. Can y'all shut up? You're too loud. This jacket right here. I know it's almost 90 degrees, y'all. But I had to have it. It fits so nice. I'm going to say it's a online return because it didn't have a price tag on it. And I was like, please let this be on a sale jacket. Please let it be on sale. When she rang it up, it was $40. But it fits so good. I'm like, I'm still going to buy it. Y'all, this jacket is so nice and chic. It just reminds me of like a Zara jacket. So anyway, it's cropped. And then it has the little bungee jumps right here. And then it has the bungee at the sleeve. And then it has like a big pocket on the sleeve. And Y'all, it's so nice. Oh, I love it. This was on the clearance section. It's just a white cropped mock turtleneck. I don't, I didn't have one. Y'all know yesterday I wore a white tank top with um, my outfit. And I was, yesterday I was like, I don't have any like nicer looking tops. All I have are white tank tops. That's it. So anyway, I bought this because I thought this would be a little bit nicer with it having the mock neck. I don't know. It was on sale. It was originally $9.99, got it for $5. Don't judge me, y'all. Don't judge me, don't judge me. I said no more vacation stuff, right? I couldn't help myself. This was so cute. And I know I'm almost, I'm, I'm almost like 95% Was making the alarm go off and stuff. Anyway, I'm like 95% positive I saw this on Amazon or like on Shein for like $15, it was 30. So it's just like open on the side. It's just a knit like cover up skirt. 
it comes all the way down to my ankles which i love y'all know it's rare when i find anything that comes all the way down to my feet so i'm like 30 bucks let me go ahead and get it it's about to be summertime so we're gonna be doing more vacations you know so that's how i justified it <laughs> next oh the clearance section had really good stuff the best fitting leggings i have had in a long time y'all I went through every clearance rack trying to find another pair because I said, oh, baby, I need, I need more of these. Then I scanned it because, you know, if you scan in the Forever 21 app, it pulls up the item online. It, it didn't pull these up. I'm like, so were they only an in-store thing? Anyway, they're just some black ribbed leggings. But y'all, they snatch you to snatchtivity. Okay? Amazing. They were originally $20 and I got them for $9.99. My lighting is not gonna let me be great when I put anything white up, so. And what is this? Oh, on the clearance section again. Y'all, I found this. Oh, no, wait. Here it goes. A two-piece set. This is a vacation set also. Long, long linen pants. The color is not coming out on camera. It almost looks white on camera. This is cream. Linen pants. This is a size extra large. It comes with a buttoned up shirt. It fits so good. I don't know what the original price was, but the uh, sale sticker is $24, so nine or $49. Why are y'all so loud? <sighs> okay, we move. Then I got this little top. Y'all, I got a lot of vacation stuff. I that's what Forever 21 has right now. If y'all looking for vacation stuff, they will come in clutch for it because that's literally all they had. They had so many pretty tropical print dresses, wide leg flowy tropical pants with the tops to go with them, like flowy shorts. They have so much stuff. So many like straw hats, the shoes, the wicker baskets, bags, purses, whatever it's called. They have everything. So anyway, I bought this. This is one of those... You could wear it like this if you want to, or you could wear it down like that. I got it to go with this. Child, let me turn this light off, because what the hell? This stuff is not white. <laughs> Can y'all see? It's like an egg color, like cream. So anyway, I got this to go together. I don't know if I'll wear it together, because this is more of a cover-up. And this is an actual top. This top was $17.99. I probably could have found it on Shein for cheaper, but we were there killing time. Here's another cover up. <laughs> this is just a netted high low top, short sleeve, oversized. This is a size large and it was $22.99. So I thought that was cute. I thought this was going to be really cute with this hat maybe on vacation. I don't know, y'all. This is also a clearance item. I actually wanted this when it first came out. I saw this on their website about a year ago, and I didn't want to pay full price for it. $22.99, but I got it for $9. It's just a t-shirt of Brother X. Ugh, love this. I was looking for another one to get for my sister, but they only had just this one. I'm like, dang it. And last but not least, I got this top. I need to try it on and make sure it fits because it don't have, it don't stretch. I mean, the back stretches. Yeah, I need to try this on. But anyway, I got this top to go with. They had the skirts in store but I wanted an extra large. They only had larges and of course they don't stretch. Y'all know most like flowy beachy stuff like this has no stretch to it. So I ordered it. So they had the matching top to it and then they had these tops to go with it. This is the exact same color orange that's in the skirt. So if I get that skirt and I try it on and it doesn't look right, then of course the whole thing is, this is going to be sitting back also. And yeah, that's it. That's all. That's all I got. I'm so sleepy. I'm tired. 
have friends who came in town who, who are coming in town tonight they want to go out to eat drinks and i'm just like yo like midnight like to leave my house at midnight i'm tired like no i, I don't think i'm like i'm gonna have to catch y'all tomorrow oh so the whole pack is done you little greedy mongrel huh you did not eat all of those in one sitting. They all sweat. No, no ma'am, you no. did not. Mom, you weren't even here. No, you weren't even out here, but I ate all of it. <laughs> it was really good. We'll just play it. Right there's, on there's, the grocery there's list. There's only six. There's only oh. six in there. Good morning, y'all. Happy Sunday. Oh, what am I doing? Oh. What else do I need to add to the grocery list? I, I should have everything. Thank you. Avocado. What you about to make? Some avocado toast? Girl, you still hungry? Wait, where is it? What you looking for? The seasoning. Oh, the bagel seasoning? Hold on. Yeah, that was barely anything. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me grab it for you. Let me grab it, ma'am. It's the white one, right? Oh. I got my oatmeal cooking. I'm going to eat some oatmeal. This is what I do before I open my... I just do it. Why are you doing that? That's gonna mess up the avocado, baby. It just makes it smushier. <laughs> Mom, literally better. These avocados cost too much money to be playing with. I'm serious. So you playing with it in my tummy? You're playing with it because you're not gonna use the whole. I'm gonna eat it. Avocado. Look how creamy it is. In the refrigerator, you gotta squeeze lemon juice on it so it doesn't turn brown all quick. Okay. I'll do it. Yeah, you can do it. I don't know how to do it. I have fallen in love with those Smoothie King acai bowls. When I tell you guys, they are amazing. They are so good. I think I showed y'all on my last vlog the very first time me trying them. I've had them three other times since then. I just didn't vlog it. It is that good. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make my own acai bowl at home. I made a grocery list and put some fruit granola on there. I'm going to try to make my own, and I think I can. And I'm going to make mine healthier because you know that they add, like, sweetener and stuff. At Smoothie King, I always say Smoothie King is like the McDonald's of fast, of, like, fast smoothie places. So... I like Smoothie Factory, the place, uh, it's a different place that I like getting like real smoothies from that aren't like all sweet. Anyway, yeah, so that's on my list to do this upcoming week. Um, and I'll save some money because my smooth, those smoothie bowls, because I add the kind that I like is like the mango with the dried berries, blueberries, coconut shavings, and it has honey drizzle. And then I add granola to it. It's almost $13. So that's a lot of money. So I can make mine at home. We're going to experiment, girl. Perfection. I have two milk frothers that I've never used. I should use one. What? A milk frother. It makes the... um consistency of the cream or milk that you put in your coffee thick i do have it i know i was just telling the camera i have two of them but i don't use them yeah you really should does one have batteries in it at least you've never opened we've never opened never. either one yeah i've opened it i never put batteries in it okay so we found one we put batteries in it ashton's gonna do the honors so pour like a third of a cup of milk do you know what a third is right um, I'm just going to pour until that looks good. Ma'am, no, we're not wasting. Keep going, keep going. You pour a little bit faster. That looks good to me. You're right there. Yeah, that's like a fourth of a cup, but we experimenting, so groceries are expensive at this point. <laughs> oh, my God. I thought it was going to splatter. Oh, my God. What the? It is splattering. Is it splattering? Yeah. The cup's not high enough. Oh, I think you have to have it in there. Oh, yeah. We used too much, but it did double in size, I will say that. But it does not look thick how the YouTube girlies be having it. It look pretty. Ooh. 
Ooh, that's enough. No, I need to overflow. Yes, because I don't want you cleaning my counters. Then, if it does, it's not. It's not gonna spill. It's overflowed, but it's not gonna spill. Okay, so you get the first sip. <laughs> no, don't. Well, it looks so pretty. This girl is crazy. My battery about to die. Wait, take, you should take the straw because it looks ugly with. Good. Yeah, it's on my mustache. It's on my face. Right? <laughs> Okay, y'all, so this is the look for Sunday Fun Day. Um, I have on my Fendi glasses. Y'all can't see them. Y'all see them later. This is a little top that I got from Fashion Nova for like 4 or $5. These pants are just some stretchy wide leg pants from a little cheap store here. They were like $20. And then my gold Dior slides. My globe trotter bag. And yeah, then I just have on some gold jewelry. You a little post so baby. You a little 48 baby. Got a little candy in her pocket. She gon' take off like a. You already know. Dirty up a couple on the north side. Text you, but I know you probably cross side. No, I gotta come and check the home. Okay, y'all, we made it. I'm saving a spot for Jennifer. So I'm like, here. And back there, I'm trying to save her some free street parking on the street. This is her on the phone, y'all can hear. So, hopefully, this is an indoor, outdoor spot. Y'all have actually been, I've, I've been to Bell Station twice with y'all vlogging. So, y'all have seen it before. Friend, I think somebody's trying to take your spot. Uh-uh, don't look at him. Oh, God. He is. He's trying to take your spot. I think he wants to take the spot, Jennifer. Oh, God. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe he's just waiting on somebody. Maybe he's picking. Maybe he's an Uber. He's rolling his window down now. Is he about to ask? Me? No, maybe he's an Uber. Now he did roll his window down, but he's uh, in front of me. He's like ahead of me. Okay, I'm on gray. Okay. One minute. Okay. You'll see me to the left. Well, depending on which way you coming from. I'm coming from. This is Smith. Does That's it say? Like, does it like, say it's to your right? Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you look to your left, you'll see me on the street. I'm worried, friend, I'm coming. Sir, you're missing your eye in Ultima. Okay, he drove off. Yeah, he he got his, his flashers on. He must be an Uber. Baby, when I tell you I am melting, y'all know I'm a sweater. But anyway, y'all know my body doesn't sweat. The only place that on me that sweats is my face and my neck. It's weird. My hands don't sweat, my feet don't sweat, my armpits don't sweat, my, my booty crack don't sweat, my, my face and my neck. Y'all ever heard of that before? Jennifer says she ain't never heard of that before. <laughs> Ugh. Let's do a little twirl for the girls. A little boop. A little hey. A little ow. Okay, let me stop being stupid. I wonder if I could take my camera in. Last lounge I went to, they said, uh-uh, ma'am, you gotta walk back to your car and put that camera away. We're gonna try our luck. What's this hell for doing? Hello? Roll your damn window down. Are you the police? Uh, Are you the police? Yeah. Are you the police? Hi, boy. Best friend, all her glory. The Bob is giving. Is it? The Bob friend? is giving. Baby, I love it. You know, I, be, I want to try a Bob, but I'm scared. Why? Because my face is fat. It don't matter. You got a face to go with any hair, too. Y'all yeah. see the Bob? Look at the baby. Is this the Siobhan J experience? It is. Oh, I need to, I need to book her. It's the experience for I me. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, it's the experience for me. Uh -huh. <laughs>
her. Like, you know, everybody spit out. Head through her. of the giveaway if you watched my last um weekly vlog i'm having an anniversary giveaway just to say thank you for you guys supporting me you guys rocking with me uh five years since i started youtube and my two-year anniversary since i have been a full-time youtuber so i'm giving away two prizes both of them are designer items so we are about to do the random comment picker right now you guys know if you guys have been watching my channel you guys know i do um giveaways all the time so if you do not win don't be sad don't be upset because i will have another giveaway very soon i will probably be having a giveaway honestly another one i think in the next like two to three weeks so y'all be on the lookout for that um what else so yeah i'm gonna check to see if these people follow the rules and then i will also be checking to make sure they didn't write anything negative about me in the past because you guys know I'll be checking them comments and we can see all of the um, comments you have written in the past as well as the present. Okay? All right. So let's get it. Okay. This is the video link. There was like 7,000 comments, y'all. <laughs> I was shocked. What? It's not going to do it because it was too many comments? Are you kidding me? Oh, a thousand, a thousand comment limit. What? What? Wait a minute. Hold on. Okay, so I found this website. Hopefully it's legit. Let's see. Okay, so this is saying I only have 5,031 comments. But on the video, I clearly have 6.7 thousand comments. <sighs> I'm annoyed. But let's see, will it actually pick somebody? Okay, so I picked Tea Lady. Her Instagram name is The Real Nasty. Okay, girl, The Real Nasty 87. Let me check and see if she followed the rules. I'll be back. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. Not that I said the real D nasty 86. It's the real dynasty. My ass talking about nasty. Okay, now let me message her and tell her she wins. Because she's the first one that popped up, I mean, she wins the Prada one because that's the more, you know, the more expensive one. So she'll get the Prada bag and the Prada hat. She has to respond within 24 hours or it goes to the next person. Okay, let me message her. Actually, I'm going to ask her which one she wants. That's what I'm going to do. Since she's the first winner, I'm going to ask her, does she want the wig and the Gucci glasses or does she want the Prada set? That's what I'm going to do. Girl, you won the giveaway. Congrats. Okay. Now let's choose the next one. Let's see if this is going to let me pick somebody else. Let's see. I'm still mad about this number because y'all cut off a whole bunch. Anyway, let's go. The short wig was really cute on you. You should definitely wear that more. The name is Astaria Born 72. Y'all know I can't be I can't read these names that well, Lord. Why am I having an issue reading these names? That's yeah, Aster Baby, I said Asteria. That's 
y'all. It says a star is born. <laughs> now my ass said hysteria. Oh, I'm embarrassed. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let me, let me message her. Let me make sure she follow the rules. A star. Okay, y'all, I messaged both of the winners. One of them has already responded back with her address. So congratulations to you two ladies. Thank you so much for the love, the support. Thank you for everybody who entered the giveaway. And thank you for everybody who just watches me. I just, I really appreciate y'all. So none of this will be possible without my besties. Y'all are the best. Y'all ride for me, y'all rock with me. And just thank you so much. So y'all, I'm about to go ahead and end out the vlog here. Um, yeah, we got to celebrate my girl Tanya this weekend. I got to hang out with Jennifer, hung out with April. She wasn't on camera though, but April was around. <laughs> and yeah, so it was just a nice little girls weekend, you know? So tomorrow's Monday, back to normal life. The gym, cooking dinner, running errands, basketball practice. Paying bills. Rent is due. Lord Jesus. Anyway, love y'all. Catch y'all later.